Hey everybody, two boys, one brain cell. We got a versus track coming up. Yeah! We have an original and a cover. Uh, Hope is the song title. The original is by The Descendants. I have heard both of these. Chuck has not. Nope. Um, the cover is by Sublime, a.k.a. the greatest cover band of all time. I said it. Dude, they got a, half this album, I feel like, it's covers. I didn't know it. All right, so... I just started finding this out, like, last year. So what we've gathered is Joel is biased in this rating system, um, so... Absolutely. There's that. <laughs> if we want to make this super confusing... Um, the Descendants covered the Sublime song. So what? There, there's a lot going on here. We want so to hold this, on, hold on. Do we want on. to make this a triple threat? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> triple threat. <laughs> so wait, you mean to tell me that the Descendants released a song called Hope? Yes. Sublime covered a song called Hope. Yes. And then the Descendants covered the cover of yes, Hope because they did this compilation called The House That Bradley Built which was like the style that he went with Sublime. Okay. And since he passed, they decided to do this uh, in 2020. All these bands did covers of Sublime. So the Descendants, to pay tribute to the Sublime cover, covered Sublime. I'm so confused, I dude. Know, dude. I know. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how different that sounds, because that could be... Oh, no, it is a little bit different. Okay, all right, let, let's have some fun here. Oh, screw it. Let's have a triple threat. Let, let's do let's it. Let's do it. Let's start with the original. <laughs> Hope Descendants. This is a comment request. Uh, Hope and sub, uh, the Sublime is also a comment request, too. So that worked okay. out. The other one just added fun. Just to, just for the chaos effect. You know what <laughs> I mean? My goodness, Just dude. for the chaos effect. <laughs> <laughs> I love the chaos, but what? Is, what is happening if, if in my life? If it's too close, we'll skip the last one. We'll see. <laughs> Hope Descendants. Let's go. Huh. There, there's that. So that's the first one. That's the original. Okay. okay. What do you, what'd you feel, Chuck? I like the lyrics. Yeah. It lyrically, it's very sound. I feel like, uh, the rhythm was nice and, but I, I kind of feel like I wanted more from the rhythm itself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, maybe a little pickup there. Yeah. It's kind of casual, but, isn't it? Yeah. It's very casual. Yeah. Um, but overall, I, I definitely enjoyed it. Now, I don't know. It is a solid song. I don't know about you, but this one kind of confuses me because it slaps. But at the same time, it's like very casually instrumental. It's just kind of yeah. like, I don't know. But I will say when I was getting into punk before it was, this was, I found this, uh, probably before our reactions, I want to say maybe six months before 
Oh, so like I'm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing here. It, I, it's hard to remember, but yeah, yeah. it's so. Prior to our reactions, I heard this song because I found out that it was a cover on Sublime. This is one of the first ones I found was a cover. I was like, oh, shit. Okay. So I knew the Sublime song, but I heard this, and I was like, man, this almost sounds like classic rock a little bit. And so I was like, yeah. it sounds good. And I'm like, but it's, you know. Yeah, it, it's like you said. It's very casual. It kind of just coasts through yeah. with the uh, instrumentals and the melody. But it's definitely still enjoyable, kind of. Oh, for like, sure. In its own way. But like I said, I want more from that. Sure. Um, this is personally one of my favorites, though, by okay. them. Like, I, I love this song. Um, you want me to lead ratings? Yes. I go flat A here. This is a playlist. I do enjoy this song a lot, like I said. So I think yeah. it's one of their top songs, too. Yeah, the top song. Okay. On, on Spotify. Yeah. Now, um... Like I said, I really enjoy the lyrics. I think that brings a lot out of it. Sure. But the end, it's like I said, the only thing that it really left me wanting more of is maybe a little more paste, a little more. A little something. Yeah. A little spice. A little oomph to it. Okay. Um, but outside of that, I think it's solid. I'm actually going to go with a 6.8, and Not it's going to go in a playlist for me. Okay. All right. And now we're going to do Sublime's version of Hope. Hope. So <laughs> it's so torn on this one because I really like that version too, despite the squealy noises in the beginning and then. Interesting. Um, I'll start off by saying I definitely like Descendants version better. Okay. Personally, mm-hmm. um, this one has its own, you know, positives. It was, um, it felt like it was definitely paying a lot of homage. Like it was sure. definitely switching because this isn't the Sublime that I no more yeah, of yeah so it's definitely they're like all right we're just gonna even try to do it in their kind of sound yep um which is refreshing did you feel that this was a little more raw though yes yeah uh, i thought that was interesting and that's the reason i like it and dislike it at the same time more yeah. like i like it at times better and other times less yeah it definitely feels more raw it definitely feels like there's like no polish to it um more ups and downs though Yes, yes, mm-hmm. and it definitely, like, just the um, the vocals and the delivery of the vocals definitely felt like there were, it was a little more choppy in places sure. rather than rhythmic, Yeah, which is definitely interesting. So there, there are some nice swap-ups, but it just doesn't hit that for me. Yeah. Okay, uh, where are your ratings going to go? I'm gonna right, go you with... want me to go first since I've already heard it? Yeah, you can. Okay, um, for this one, I'm going to go with a 7.2. Like I said, there are times that I enjoy this more than the Descendants version, but there's times I don't enjoy it as much. Yeah. So it's just a, it's a hit and miss for me. So it's going to 7.2 and it's already in a playlist. Yeah. This one, I'm going to go with a 6.5. Okay. So less? Yes. Less than. Okay. It is 0.3 under the that's Descendants right. version. That's right. I will be adding this one to a playlist as well. Um, They're different enough to yeah. make it work. Yeah. But yeah. 
Definitely. And now the descendants were like, no, we can't let them have the last word, even though this is, you know, 2020 and almost, uh, let's see, the original came out in, I want to say it was like the 80s. Unfortunately, this is the remastered version of Milo Goes to College. So it says 2022. Yeah. Um, but Sublime's version was done in 92. Okay. okay. So this is almost 20 years. Wait, no. Almost 30 years. Is that right? Yeah. Holy shit. Almost 30 years 28 after. 28 years later. They they put put this together for the compilation, The House That Bradley Built, and it's Descendants cover of the Sublime song. So let's check her out. Mad respect for the uh, the tribute. That's that's yeah. uh, that's pretty dope. When you have a band that you're like, oh, they covered our song, and then you cover their song as, as a tribute. <laughs> kind of gives a, a. Do you know the song "Bad Fish" by Sublime? Kind of a slower. That the acoustic vibe right there gave me potentially. You probably shown me it. Maybe I don't maybe know. I, don't I know remember. you only really know the hits really yeah. of like Santa Ria and What mm-hmm. I Got. I believe. Yeah, definitely what I got. Um. But no, I think that's pretty cool. Honestly. Um, <laughs> Would you, the 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 cock version part was interesting in an acoustic. I'm not gonna lie, it's my favorite one. <laughs> really? Yeah. Out of all three? Out of all three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I find this one uh, in the middle of those two. Probably this one probably goes with seven point five. I really like the <laughs> acoustic nature. Um, it's solid. Oh. It's a solid tune. Dude, when you started saying right in the middle of the two, I was waiting for it because 7.6 for me, this one's going to the playlist yeah. too. <laughs> and with your eight and your seven, two, it's right in the middle. Right like, the let's middle. go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I got to say, on the versus battle, I say Descendants won. Both songs are better than Sublime's, um, though I do really enjoy Sublime's version. Yeah. And I find this really interesting just because. <laughs> I was talking about how I wanted more ups and downs, a little more pace in the from the original. Yeah. And then they just slowed it way down, swapped it out for acoustic, and it's better. <laughs> it's I, like, okay, shows what I know about music. 
All yeah. right. <laughs> more so shows your taste because you like yeah. that acoustic. In, oh, I in definitely general. do more. I definitely do, and and this isn't the same like more punk style. No, of music when they swapped it to this. Yeah, it's still got you know that edge, but it's definitely very. Um, the acoustic really dials it back. Sure, and, and keeps it nice. I think that also shows how good of a band you are that you can oh, yeah. jump. Uh, genre to you know you're typically a punk band but you can go hey look at this i can do an acoustic in a style that is paying a nod of a cap to sublime style oh, yeah. and still pulled off to be really good definitely um and imagine how hard that is to take something original and then give it a completely different spin yeah and not just go hey we're just gonna make this acoustic and then just play the you know they actually added something to it there's this is Two minutes and 44 seconds, which is longer. Their original is two minutes. Hope is a minute and 43 seconds. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely interesting. 100%. So you're saying Descendants 1 as well? Yes. Okay, Descendants beat sub, Sublime in this one. Uh, we've only done this once before, and that was No Effects versus Frank Turner. Yep. Uh, Thatcher F to fuck the kids in uh, our Patreon. Yep. So if you're curious on checking that out, you can go there for that. Anything else you want to add? That's it for me. You guys, we're two boys. We have one brain cell. Make sure you drop in the comments. Who gets that brain cell? Very important. Absolutely. Smash that like button. And until next time, guys, peace out. Peace.